lounge about it's day cake they provide towels throughout the day but um, I think you're gonna have to grab one of these wristbands wristbands are provided daily I think it's only for resort guests the cast member just came by and dropped off some menu as far as food goes we've got a little gem salad some poke bowl pork gilza chicken wings ooh pink crested long beans that does sound pretty good uh, we have a rungle salad, some platter, and a burger, chicken tenders, and fries. And we have a kid's menu as well. We got some mimosas, wine, and beer. Ooh, sparkling wine does sound really good. That sounds super refreshing right now. Yep, mojitos, daiquiris. Cheers, my drinks just came. We opted for a lovely and refreshing Sauvignon Blanc. The walk up is way easier than having to fight for the three day reservation. So we're in the fantastic Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Room. There's so much. Let's take a look at the menu. This, this looks very similar to the one that we had at the poolside bar. We got the burger and we have the platter and the poke bowl and such. And let us see. I think we had the Oa, which is that sparkling drink. Mm, that might be a little bit much for me just by myself. They have the Hippopota Mai Tai <laughs> and the zombie. Yes, we've got the zombie. And cool. All right. Very, very good. The Tiki 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 Rum Shipwreck. That's also, that's always a favorite. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's check out. We want to they have also the gilza. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I wonder if they move. Oh, I don't think they're moving. So. All right. Oh gosh, that is cool. See? Oh, skip. This wall it says, in case of hippo attack, break glass. I don't know what that's gonna do. If a hippo's attacking, I'm not sure if you really have much of a choice, but okay. Oh. Some ore up there and a hat with a knife sticking in it. And how could I miss the orange bird up there? <laughs> That's super cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. And yeah, that's still freaking me out a little bit. So, no reservations required if you're on site. Just walk up. Right now, it's kind of an off time. It's not really sort of like in between lunch and dinner. So, it's really easy to. Place is not super busy at all. So, we were able to. I was able to walk in, walk up, sit by the bar. It's fantastic. Don't feel sweat if you don't get a reservation if you're here. Um, sometimes later in the evening, there's a little. There's going to be a little bit of wait. But right now, not so bad.
really good. It's, um, it's very al dente, which I like. A lot of times, sometimes, you know, not so good ramen tend to be a little bit more, like, soggy. This is pretty good. I mean, especially the egg. The egg is excellent. Indiana Jones says, what? How is that? Resort guests have early access, so we're gonna get up early and see what we can accomplish this morning. And good morning. We are gonna head to Disneyland, check out the early resort guest entry, and then show you just how close this places to uh, downtown Disney. It's literally right across the street. That is the exit. Adventures Tower is actually the closest, I believe. So here we go. And we are there already. How cool is that? And then here we have some guests already lined up for a security check. All right, I guess we're uh, gonna be going to the back of the queue. You know, funnily enough, in Disney World, they tell you to always go left to go into the shortest queue. In Disneyland, actually, I think going right is the best way to go. Because a lot of people just come from downtown Disney, so they just immediately veer left and get on getting the queue. Whereas over here on this, the right side, not a lot of people come here. So it's a really good trick. We are in. So right now it's uh, 724. And let me see if uh, we can check out the early resort access. That was easy peasy. The cast members, they have a podium. They actually have a scanner. So what you need to do is present your room key to tap in as well as your reservation. So they're gonna need to see both. Now we are waiting for, I think 7.30 is when the early resort guests are allowed in. Um, right now, I guess it's a little bit of a mob situation. I guess there's really no line. People are just randomly queuing up wherever there's space. It's 7.30 on the dot, we are in. I think a lot of the guests are either going to Space Mountain. I don't believe Rise of Resistance opens until 9 a.m. Astro Orbiter is moving as well. So yeah, let's, ch let's check out Space Mountain. This early morning, there is no lightning light. The queue should be moving fairly quickly. Space Mountain is done. I guess, yeah, there's still a walk on. So I guess if you're, if you want to ride them multiple times, this is your time to do it. Alice in Wonderland. This one was closed for a little bit for a quick little refurb. So let us see what anything is updated. And teacups, of course. Uh, if you remember in Fantasy Towers, those little those little boots uh, by the hotel entrance, they look like teacups, don't they? Maybe it's just me. It looks the colors look a little bit more refreshed. Maybe they did some, uh, yeah painting and touch up here. Okay.
definitely looks way more vibrant than before. I'm pretty sure they've done quite a bit of work over there. Minor refurb, but it just freshens things up. And the Mad Hatter, oh my goodness, there's a treasure hat, cat hat. <laughs> and the name does not disappoint. You got all the hats over here and ears and headbands. And yeah, you can also get your stuff embroidered as well. Naturally, you have your Alice in Wonderland ears. Look. Oh, there's the caterpillar. <laughs> Is that rabbit's bedroom up there? Oh my goodness, never noticed. Got teacups and tea sets. Mm, adorable. Oh, and Rabin and, and his family. Oh, this must be rabbit's house. All right. And lots of rabbits. <laughs> Okay, all right, very good. Let me, let me see what the early morning looks like in, in uh, Galaxy's Edge. I don't think Rise of Resistance is open just yet, so let's check that out. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we stand in line, I don't know, depending on how long the line is gonna be. So let's check out that too. tend to do rise of resistance first in the morning the, the line dies down throughout the day so i mean just come back there's no reason to wait in this queue yeah. yeah that is the end of line that is we're, we're out of bat two at this point with this line this is nuts yeah i mean if you're not desperate to write this, don't wait in this line. That is, this is not what I recommend first thing in the morning. The line will die down throughout the day. So we're, yeah, no, yeah, we're, we're not doing this today. Big Thunder is about a 10 minute standby list, so why not? Just walk by it. Looks like we're moving pretty swiftly, so let's get on the wildest ride in the wilderness. Yeah, there's literally no way. This is awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's because everybody's over there in Rise of Resistance, so. Uh, take this opportunity while everybody's waiting in line over there. You, you can get some get some stuff out of the way this morning. I just want to share with you something that happened yesterday. I misplaced my sunglasses at the Disneyland Hotel. When that happens, they do have a process. They have a like a lost and found website, which I'll put on the screen. And miraculously, they were able to find it. So this is the second time that Disney was able to locate uh, my lost items. When I was in Disney World, maybe earlier this year, I lost my magic band on <laughs> Test Track and they were able to find it. It was, it was incredible. And yesterday I thought it was gonna be a long shot and I asked the cast member by the front desk and they just let me know, hey, you know, we're gonna give it our, give our best and try to locate it. And they sent me the website to basically file a report. Report basically how, had you um, describe your item and even be able to upload a photo. So I did all that and really within, I don't know, within an hour less than that of my filing a report, they were able to find my item and the item was waiting there at the front desk for me to pick up. So yeah, if you, if you lose items here in Disney, in the park or in the hotel, don't panic because They've been an, they've been amazing when it comes to locating uh, lost and misplaced items. So they, so it's it's incredible. So yeah, uh, that's just one of the things that uh, that to keep in mind uh, next time if you happen to misplace something. And my in my memory is going a little bit. So sometimes you just can't keep track of everything with you.
Well, that was a very successful morning this morning with early entry. So we're going to head back to the resort now to continue our staycation. Something incredibly interesting happened just then. Just a whole bunch of people started, I saw a bunch of people lining up um, for whatever reason. I was just kind of asking, you know, why? what's happening today? Apparently, today is the drop of the new Tiki mug, the um, a third edition of the Hatbox Ghost from the Trader Sam's t the Enchanted Tiki Room. So, yeah, just sort of nine. I had no idea what was happening. Just, you know, when in Disney, sometimes my model is when you see people waiting in line, stand in it because something cool might happen. So, yeah, so I literally just stood in line, met some wonderful people. We chatted for about three hours um, and the drop happened around 1130 a.m. in the morning. There were people that were here in line starting at 4 a.m. Not quite the situation as Elliot, the uh, the popcorn but bucket or with um, Figment, but it's still a pretty substantial thing. So yeah, I happened to catch this super weird and rare occasion. Apparently they do these things. So yeah, I was able to snag myself a, um, a Hatbox Ghost uh, Tiki mug. So there you have it. And now finally get to sit down and enjoy a little bit of a resort day. Hey, my girl, hey, my brother, you're at the party. Let's party, here we go. getting ready to finally leave the Disneyland hotel. It was a wonderful stay. In terms of the cons, I think obviously the pricing is not uh, inexpensive for sure. So I want to say anywhere between 400 and 900 for the standard room, depending on the season. And it's probably not the closest to the, the parks. So you do have to walk through downtown Disney in order to get to the parks. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, other than the price, I think there is really not, uh, not a lot of cons of staying here. So I really re enjoyed it. So hopefully you enjoy this video as well. If you did, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to help grow our community. If you have any questions or comments, please leave in the comments down below. We will see you in the next video.